Hey guys, Jeremy Cheney here. Today I'm showing you guys a brand new 2022 Grand Cherokee Summit Reserve. This is the brand new Grand Cherokee and it is an absolute beauty. This just hit my lot about maybe two days ago, three days ago. LED lights, got a beautiful new front end. Equipped with all kinds of cool tech features. Forward collision warning, night vision, uh, lane assist. We've got a front camera on the front as well. Where else would the front camera be, right guys? This is the white. They call this bright white. And uh, you can see it's like a two-tone, so black on the top, really sharp looking. Those wheels are 22s. As you would expect on a Summit, the trim around the wheel wells is also body color, which is cool. But nice looking wheels. Has our typical height adjustable suspension, the quadrilift suspension to get through everything life's gonna throw at you, right? Driving in a $70,695 Jeep, should, should be able to do whatever. But absolutely stunning vehicle. I'm really excited to see this. Didn't really know what to expect. I saw pictures, but pictures only take you so far. Not quite as good as videos, at least my videos. Cool looking back end, right guys? Uh, dual, ta uh, dual tail pipes. We've got the hitch that's hidden right there in the middle. That's where the hitch is. We got our usual summit badge, but cool looking um, light setup too. So lights are really nice looking. Let's pop the trunk and see what we got. And it's about 13 degrees out guys. So I'm really taking one for the team. So hit the like button and subscribe to your boy's channel. Lots of space here for traveling, lots of luggage. You got a plug there, a little bit of storage there, and then a sub in the back. So it's got a 19, um, 19 speaker sound package that's powered by Macintosh, which is cool too. Four wheel drive, of course. Woo, it's freezing boys and girls and people. We've got our uh, blind spot monitoring. There's a triangle there. Let's open the door up and see what we got. Got a beautiful interior guys and girls and people. Uh, the interior is called Tupelo and black interior. You can see it's got like a diamond stitching there, which is really sharp. And we've got um, our mirror adjustments here. We can fold the mirrors in there. Memory seats and whatnot. Massaging seats, people. So we got the ability to um, have massagers actually in the seats now, which is all new to the Grand Cherokee. Never had it before. There's our settings for our uh, seats. So we can move them a few different ways, right? We can move them forward, backward. And then this actually can extend the bottom of the seat too and retract. This is our lumbar and this is our back. Lights are automatic, but absolutely gorgeous looking interior. Look how beautiful that is. Does have a uh, dual pane sunroof too. And look at the steering wheel. Got this nice wooden trim. Same thing here, all the way across your dash and all the way over. I'll back it out a little bit and let's get in. Here's our Macintosh speaker too. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we have our uh, steering wheel, nice looking. Got our night vision. So right here, I actually have the night vision on right now. Um, this vehicle has night vision, which is cool. So if you're ever a big GI Joe fan like I was growing up, you probably should look at getting this vehicle. Uh, but on top of being a GI Joe fan, if you're a big fan of safety at night, it's a cool feature to have. Uh, so we have our driver's information center here, which is gonna actually control this back screen. So let's just kind of scroll through and see what we got. Audio, we've got our off-road pages. We can see what mode we're in, etc. We can cycle through and see the dynamics. We can go to navigation and we can see that the nav will actually load now on this screen here too, which is nice. And PSI on the tires. Yeah, I, you guys will notice it's 12 degrees, so I probably got frostbite taping this, but worth it. There's our range. There's our average fuel economy with this Hemi and uh, oil life monitor back to the PSI, back to our night vision. And you can also do a few different screens. Obviously you can do the M MPH as well. But cool looking screen. You can also notice guys and girls and people that uh, we have heads up display on this one too. 
Over here we've got our 10.1 touchscreen radio. Uh, I usually like to kind of keep everything somewhat expanded out, so I'll hit this button here and keep it fully expanded. Um, you can uh, do the nav right through here, or you can do Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. That's all wireless now, which is cool. AM, FM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, um, all that can play right through you know, the vehicle as well, which is great. Comfort, you can see that the display looks a little bit different now to be able to make your adjustments, heated seats, heated steering wheel, passenger side, same stuff. These just adjust just right there, which is cool. Uh, but super easy to use. And then, uh, let's see here, vehicle. This will just be able to make you um, see kind of what's around you and a few other pieces about the vehicle. And also, it does have a passenger side um, screen now too, which is kind of neat. So there's the passenger side screen that you can actually turn off. And it um, appears to me that you can watch movies. I haven't tried this yet, so hopefully someone with one of these vehicles can tell me uh, if that's the case. Looks like you can plug in right down here uh, to do so. And as we're down here, you guys will notice we have our um, select terrain, rock, sand, snow, auto, sport modes. We just adjust these just by moving this toggle switch up and down. You can see we've got our hold switch, and then we have our four-wheel drive low. Hill descent control, neutral switch, so this vehicle can be flat-toed. And then our height adjustments for our quadrillet suspension. So you want to raise the vehicle up, push this dial up, lower it down, just press that down. This is our shifter here, our push button start here. And um, as, we, as we move up, I just noticed like, how nice that the trim is, the stitching is, and then all like the fine touch points and uh, just overall thought that went into this vehicle is really second to none. I mean, definitely one of the nicest vehicles I've ever been in. Macintosh speakers. It's probably got a digital, yeah, it does have a digital uh, rear view mirror as well. And then to open the roof, all we do is push this. This will slide this back. It'll stop halfway. And then we'll hit it again. And it'll go the rest of the way. Um, what's cool, on the passenger side, you actually have memory passenger settings too. So ultra, ultra luxury in my opinion. Um, I think that that's kind of a neat feature. We started seeing that on the Grand Cherokee L and uh, obviously kind of moved right over to the uh, Grand Cherokee. But heated seats and cold seats in the front. Let's check out the second row. Um, so here's our second row. Got really nice door skins. This one has a package that gives you uh, rear window shades as well. So there's our window shades. But really nice looking, really nice looking trim and the, the quality of the leather is really nice too. And the people in back also have the ability to um, set their own climate and they have heated and cooled seats in the second row. So again, very high end, very high luxury. Your, uh, your trim up here, this is all suede too. So hey, that's it. It's been eight and a half minutes. Haven't shot a video in a month, so uh, definitely missed everyone, and uh, I'm glad to be getting back into this type of thing. So hope everyone's well. Hope 2020 is a great year for everyone, and we'll see you next time.